Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I am in Mobile, Alabama. Um, down here for some work-related training. But anyways, I got the chance to fly an M squared aircraft. They are a light sport, a certified light sport, so it's not experimental. Um, you can change the registration afterwards if you wanted to make it experimental. But they come fully built um, from the factory. And I got a chance to fly the M squared Breeze 2. It's a light sport. It's got it's like kind of a half open cockpit. You've got the options of, you've got a bunch of different engine options, but I think the main ones people use are the Rotex uh, 582 and the uh, Rotex 912. Um, some things about this airplane that I really, really, oh, and Paul, let me tell you about Paul. He's an awesome guy. He seems like, uh, He'd really have great customer service. I've only really known him today, but seemed like a great guy and I would expect that his customer service would also be great. Um, some things I really liked about the airplane. It took off really short. Uh, it landed really short. It didn't really even need brakes on landing. You could just roll out. Um, it was easy to fly. It flew, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my background so you can understand where I'm coming from. I just got my private pilot's license about a month ago and I did my private pilot license in about a month so I'm coming straight from I'm a brand new private pilot I have a few I have maybe like I don't know a handful of hours after my license done but I'm pretty fresh um, and the planes I flew during training were a 172 a uh, diamond DA 40 and a 182 RG so that's my background so you guys can at least kind of whatever Beginner doesn't matter every sentence A prisoner in a body that is subject to time now My entwined mind tries to form a straight line Not like twitched scoliosis of the spinal cord Construct Cross-eyed carpenters are cutting crooked lines Can't construct Man-made shrines when the winds in the water move the sands of time Many minds on a deadline Yet live life like a live wire So more about this airplane I really love the way it flew It, uh, once you were in the air and it, it, it just, it flew great. We had like a, a 10 knot quarter, quartering headwind, um, almost crosswind, and it's still, I mean, for a light sport, it flew amazing. Uh, I thought it would definitely be more bumpy and more rugged and more uncomfortable, and it was completely comfortable. It was fun to fly, easy to pick up on. So some things that are a little different for me from going from a Cessna to this, it required quite a bit more rudder, but the difference in the rudder was huge for me because in a Cessna the rudder kind of feels big and slow and kind of clunky and I don't know it just doesn't move as smoothly this rudder it, it was very smooth you could really feel the controls and what was going on um, so it was really easy the rudder work it did require more rudder but using the rudder was easy if that makes sense it you can just feel exactly what the planes what, the, what it's asking for and what how to fly it well so yes, it, it required more rudder and the fact like you can turn a Cessna and pretty much, I mean, it's not a coordinated turn, but you, you can kind of start to turn a Cessna and then add in rudder and you can make it a nice coordinated turn. For this airplane, uh, it was more like you add a little bit of rudder, right? You add, a, you know, medium amount of rudder and then a little bit of aileron and you would just turn right in and it would be nice and coordinated. So the rudder was just a little bit different and. It only took me, you know, I don't know, a lap or two around the pattern to really get it. Um, so I really liked the flight characteristics of this plane. 
it didn't really have anything that stood out to me that was bad or uncomfortable or scary and it really just flew like a dream um, like I said it took just a minute to really kind of figure out the controls and stuff but with any new airplane I mean I flew it for I don't know 20 minutes 15 minutes and I feel like I had the hang of it by the end so uh, anyways I really like this airplane and I really think you guys would like it too I'll put a link in the description to the website and uh, yeah thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys later